Hi there friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and we're making a scrap busting no so mini gnome today. If you would like to make him, boop, stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here crafting with me. Now everything you need for this gnome is in your craft room or around your house. He is four inches tall. Again, you can vary that, but he's made with all scraps. I'm gonna give you a lot of different variations on how you can make him. So you can use for a base, heart stickers. They're perfect. You can use um, wood rounds for a base, anything for the beard, faux fur, moss, um, yarn. And for the fabric hat, I'm using fleece, but you could use cotton, anything. Now for the body, you have a couple of choices as well. Cork, wood dowels, paper rolls. I'm going to show you a paper roll version. So I take, I start off by taking off the sticker portion of my heart and then priming everything. I prime the inside of my little yellow daisy buttons white and then also the bottom of this heart sticker. It was so red y'all. So, so red. So I just gave that a couple coats and for the top I used parchment chalk paint because that's what I used on my tiered tray and this guy was meant for my spring tray. Couple coats of that drying with the heat gun. Now Again, you can use anything, a cork built up, uh, a wood dowel cut to size. I'm gonna use the inside of a wrapping paper roll. It's a little heavier than a paper roll, but you can absolutely use a paper towel roll, a toilet paper roll. And we're gonna cut that, whoo! Did you see those lightning fast reflexes? <laughs> we're gonna cut that to about three and a half inches tall and your bottom should be flat-ish because once you identify your bottom, you're gonna paint about three quarters of the way up matching your base, whatever color you made that. And it just makes the paper roll look a little less like a paper roll. I use the leftover paint on my paintbrush from the base and then set that off to dry. I'm gonna paint the inside of my daisy flowers a very pale pink that's used on my tiered tray. And then I'm going to uh, assemble the body. So I put the glue on the inside of the paper roll and I did that so that when, it, when I turned it upside down, it would just fall down and secure everything. But the, the best laid plans, right? Watch this. That's nowhere close to the middle. Look at that. So now I have to scooch it over and wipe all the glue away. Mm-hmm. That's how I roll. All right, so because I am using a paper roll and this is a little taller than I originally wanted, I'm going to put a little glue in it. Uh, I don't know if any of those rocks went in there. I'm using dollar store gravel, it's vase filler, and I'm just going to secure the top, tamp it down, and then I'm gonna repeat this process. Glue, rocks, glue, rocks, glue. Oh, look. <laughs> I am a professional crafter. <laughs> I cannot put rocks in a quite generous hole. <laughs> so, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so now I'm going to just measure for a wraparound beard. This one's about one to one and a half inches. It wasn't even even, to be honest. Uh, I'm just gonna put glue on that and line the top up with the very top of my paper roll. That's it. Pretty easy, right? And then I had this extra scrap and I was gonna be darned if I was going to have another scrap left over. So I'm gonna use this to build up my, the front of my gnome. So I just identified about-ish the middle so I could line it up with my base. And then I'm going to split the fur to the fabric backing for the nose. And you can see none of those rocks are coming out because we secured them, right? Okay, so a uh, generous portion of hot glue directly on the faux furs fabric and then press that whatever nose you're using, wood bead, wood round, garland, uh, felt ball, anything you'd like, pom pom. And this is what we have so far. Originally, I was going to use this on the horizontal, but then it struck me that I could make a cute little wraparound hat if it worked on the vertical and watch. It does. So as long as you have just a quarter of an inch wraparound, you can use it. To get the nose part, I just you pulled it up and secured the back of the fabric up, which gave me a nice little bump. Now, for the hat, to make a stand-up hat that gives you a lot of height without any filling, you're going to make a vertical seam first, or a vertical hem first. So that's two and a half to three inches here on the vertical. And then just glue that down before gluing down the rest of your hat. So the reason we wanna do this is because all of the height from our hat is gonna come from that vertical. And now we're just going to line up the very top of the edge of where we glued to the top corner, however tall you would like your hat, and cut it off. 
<laughs> By the way, those scraps would have been really cute arms, but I didn't think of that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just going to glue this seam. So because we are working with smaller things, you can use a fine tip glue gun. This is not a fine tip glue gun, but it allows me a lot of control. So I do have a fine tip glue gun somewhere. Somewhere. I ponder as I let the glue dry, and then I pull everything apart to make sure my seams don't rip apart, and then flip everything outside right. Now to assemble the hat with the bump, we're gonna slip it on and make sure everything lines up, the little turn up in the hat on the nose and the seam in the back. And now I'm just gonna measure everything to see if I like how it looks. I do. Okay, now we're gonna glue it down right here in the nose portion first. That's our little focal point of our guy. I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit. Split the fur in the back and make sure you glue the hat to the body, not to the fur. Just gives it something a little more secure. Okay, so now you see how I pulled it too far down. It's not so much of a bump in front. Watch this. We're going to just make a little hole. And I know it seems counterintuitive, but I promise. <laughs> we're going to make this little hole, and then we're going to, at the very edge, we're going to add hot glue and then secure that hole so you can see it's secure. And then we're going to glue down the side. So what that does is it gives us the illusion of a nice stuffed, scrunched hat. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now it's time to decorate. I am just going to use that vertical seam there to put on my buttons. So I add a little bit of glue, put the small one on first, and then layer it with the top. Big button. Extremely simple. You see how this could be a million different variations? Isn't he fun? Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Will you make him? I just love easy projects like this, and I hope you do as well. I sincerely appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.